If you're redeveloping U.S. coal-fired power plants, there's a potential billion-dollar risk that you should know about. Coal-fired power plants present significant opportunities for solar energy and battery storage project development in the U.S., particularly given their existing transmission and interconnection. These plants face many of the same challenges as any brownfield development. One challenge unique to these plants is potential liability involving coal combustion residuals. Coal combustion residuals are the ash produced when these plants burned coal to generate power. A rapidly evolving regulatory landscape governing coal ash has introduced uncertainty and liability for both current and former owners of these sites. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has been promulgating new legal requirements that could impose future obligations, ranging from expensive new engineering controls to, in some cases, potentially requiring complete removal of the coal ash. Complete removal of coal ash could cost hundreds of millions of dollars for some facilities, or even billions. While some of the uncertainty won't be settled for years, the risk isn't uniform across all facilities. An environmental and engineering firm can help assess risk in conjunction with an attorney familiar with the evolving legal landscape. And attorneys and other professionals can help projects consider potential deal structuring, environmental liability transfer, and to some extent, insurance options to help mitigate risk. I'm Stacey Van Belligam, a partner at Latham & Watkins. I've been involved in environmental regulatory work impacting coal-fired power plants, as well as advising on the acquisition and divestiture of these sites for nearly 15 years.